41. The percent of transgender people who have tried to commit suicide at some point in their life. 25. The percent of transgender people who have lost their job because they were transgender. 92. The percent of transgender people who have faced some kind of discrimination at work because they were transgender. 2. Transgender people have an unemployment rate twice as high as the national average. 12. The percentage of transgender people who have been denied housing at some point in their life because they were transgender. 700,000. The estimated number of transgender people living in the United States. That comes to about 0.3% of the population. 0.3% you say? What's the big deal? Well, that actually works out to about one in every 300 people. I bet you know 300 people. Transgender people aren't just the people that you hear about in news stories and on TV. They're your sons and your daughters. They're your mothers and your fathers. They're the people you go to work with every day. They're the people you sit down next to at a restaurant. They're the people you pass by on the street and you may never even know. Trans people are people. And these numbers are not going to change unless you decide to do something about it. What can you do, you say? Well, it starts with respect. Trans people are people, just like everybody else, and they deserve your respect as much as everyone else does. Until our society as a whole acknowledges and respects trans people and the fact that we do exist, nothing is going to change. So that starts with you. And if you don't know, that's okay. All you have to do is educate yourself a little bit. This video has about five or six minutes left, and I challenge you to stick through and watch the rest of it, because by the end, you'll be educated enough to treat trans people with the respect that they deserve. It starts with the terminology. All you have to learn is a few simple terms and phrases, and you'll be all set. A trans woman is somebody who was born male and has transitioned into female, like myself. A trans guy is someone who was born female and transitioned into male. But you're better off just referring to them as either male or female or men or women because that's probably what they prefer anyways. And also, don't be afraid to ask them. If you're unsure, just ask. Respect their pronouns. My preferred pronouns are she, her, and hers. Once again, if you're unsure, just ask. They'll be happy to tell you. If you know someone is trans and you deliberately call them by pronouns that they don't wish to be used, it's incredibly offensive and it shows a blatant lack of respect that you have towards that other human being. The word transgender is an adjective, so please don't use it as a noun. For example, Madison is transgender, not Madison is a transgender. By using it as a noun, you're segregating people into groups, and a group which is a minority has a tendency to be discriminated against. You should also refer to transgender people by the names that they request. For example, I prefer the name Madison. I don't wish to be called by my previous name. Using my previous name brings back memories and the feelings of anxiety that went along with that um, in a life before I transitioned. Trans people aren't trying to fool anyone. They simply want to live their lives and blend in like everyone else. The reason they transitioned wasn't to deceive you. We didn't choose to be transgender any more than you chose to be short or tall. All we did was simply choose to live an authentic and honest life and to be able to be who we really are and express that openly. Also, don't assume someone's sexual orientation just because they're transgender. Transgender people can be straight or gay, just like everyone else. For example, I prefer women, so that would make me a lesbian. Unless you have their approval first, you should never out someone who is trans. Like I said before, 
All they're trying to do is live an honest life and blend in with the rest of society and draw as little attention to themselves as possible. That's actually my goal in life as well, um, but I do make YouTube videos just because I think it's important to spread awareness and to be able to affect change in our society. Because without people stepping up to say, I am transgender, I am here, and I exist, nothing is ever going to change. You can make a difference. You can be the difference. Stand up for what is right, because people everywhere deserve respect. Please share this video everywhere you can so that we can help raise awareness and affect change. Thanks for watching you guys and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can follow me along on my journey, which is also a good opportunity if you don't know a lot about transgender people. But until next time, be kind and make good choices.